Hi there, this is Moritz from Point of Equipment, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I finalized my WordPress website project for my clients. And let me show you my notes right here. So here is it. Um, I would I would assume that you already migrated your the staging site to the hosting or real domain of your client. And this is where we start the process of finalizing the the project. So just to give you an initial, an initial input and info, um, we make our websites to the staging sites so that we don't need to get access right away to the client's website for hosting dependent, especially if the client have their own um, hosting account, not not within our server but if you're if you have if you're a client which have services under us or have bought services like the complete packages site that we offer it's only a hosting account and then we develop your website for free so that thing won't need our credentials to you to let us get access and like your your hosting I and mean your website to your own hosting because we already have access to, to it. Um, but of course we will need your your permission. So the thing is we we create sites with it and from our uh, I mean on our starter sites and then we let's say for example um starter site dot your domain dot com or pedicut.net like that staging dot pedicut.net so let's say for example like this this is let's say this is your domain and Let's assume that it is not yet um, built. So this is a, an empty domain name, okay? So when we develop and we when we get our service and you 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 ask us to develop the website, we install your website to a subdomain. Okay, let's say for example that that can be that okay, or staging or whatever okay so and then after after it is um, approved the design is already um, approved by the client or by you if you're a client then we in the final step is for us to migrate the staging site or the, the, the what we have developed for you or for our, our, our clients to your real domain which is in my case it's kind of okay or whatever whatever your real domain is and then hosted on wherever whether it is in our servers or your own um third party service provider okay so that's it that's what I mean by here so we will start off af after this there's um, this task so I will assume that you already or you have already migrated the 
the staging site to the real domain of your website or your touch website. Okay, so we will start up here, which we will replace the old URLs to the new ones to make sure there's nothing, um, there's no conflicts from whatever services we have um, set up before that. And we will set up Google Site Kit to make it easier. And we also use WP Rocket as a question plugin. We will set up that one. And Cloudflare, of course. We will use a free CDN Cloudflare for static files, which is really not available through um, the tutorials in the internet. We will, we will set up properly your your cloud there to cache everything needed for your website. So you won't need any other premium um, CDN. Okay. And we will also set up image optimi optimizer and a CDN of course. Um, like one. And then we will set up as well a real cron jobs. So we will not use uh, the WP cron, which is built in the WordPress. We will use another, another within your, um, cPanel. And then we will test the website performance until we are satisfied. And then after that, we will set up, we will, we will set up the website to our website manager because this is um, a project along with a managed hosting and also a managed website service so we do manage our clients website along with maintaining it and everything else and we will also set up an offsite backup for the website, the analytics, the report, and website owner's manual. We will send it to the client. I will walk you through it, how you can get it, and also how you can edit it and set up also the WP video tutorials and other views. So we um, offer, we, we have this offer to our clients, all of this, and you can do this as well for if you are a developer or a designer, then the reason why I, I only created this tutorial, which is the finalization step, it's because, I mean, steps, it's because there are, there are tons of um, tutorials in the internet on how you can create a website from scratch, okay, especially with this. It's so simple, but the, um, the one that I'm, I'm not, um, a fan of is no windows, I mean, <coughs> Um, I haven't yet, I haven't yet seen any um, straightforward finalization and steps or system in regards to the old website project. Okay, so this is it. This is my my recommendation and I believe this is almost over all of these are free. Okay? Yeah. Only this one is not. But you can get it. You can get this one for free. I will show it to you within this tutorial. So <coughs> stay tuned.